Oh, hey. Y'all are back. Awesome. No, stay, stay. I got some stuff for y'all. I got, I got a review. I got a review for you guys. Hello, everybody. Hope y'all are doing great. Uh, I'm going to do a review on some, some either a uh, poser. Yeah, nah, I'm not gonna say the posers. Uh, some sissies do. Somehow I see a little girl do. That is Copenhagen pouches. Yeah, I found this. I'm not freezing while I was cleaning. I got dip galore in that thing. All kinds of dip, all kinds of flares. I think the reason why I got this is because uh, I originally wanted Copenhagen Long Cut. And they ended up giving me this shit. I, uh, I snapped it until I opened it up. I looked, and while I was opening, I looked at the front in the tin, on the tin, and I was like, son of a bitch. So I'm going to do a review, and then I'm going to pop two in. Your old Copenhagen tampon. Then it me off with a man in the store. Which I should pay attention anyways. He gave me this can. Oh, he said I should pay attention to you. I ain't gonna rack. I ain't gonna rag on the guy. Now he's a good guy. Corner little tobacco store I always go to down the street. How do you? But my whole thing. How do you get this, which he sells every day, mixed with this? He also sells every day. It's totally different. Only difference, really, is pouches. Long cut. Oh, I can say that it ain't a big deal. Probably the longest lasting can of freezers, honestly. I mean, I got all kinds of stuff. If I don't, if I don't feel like winter green, you know, I grab something that I'm in the mood for. Oh, what I want to talk to you guys about today. I'm a parent. I have a son six months old. How I raised my younger sister most part of her life to or I helped my mom raise her. But uh I was in Walmart the other day. It drives my gears every time I'm in there. Every time I go to Walmart, there's always a screaming kid. Like a while back when my son brought him to Walmart. What did you think about bringing this type of bag with you? I mean, well, we had this type of bag, we just didn't have an extra bottle to feed him with. Well, he starts screaming and crying a little. I'm sitting there, I'm me and my old lady, and so I'm walking around, you know, we need quickly, so we get the hell out of there, you know. I try to get out of there as fast as I can, anyways, without the money. <laughs> uh, there's this woman, following us, staring at us. He follows all the way up to the checkout. Older woman. I sit there and we're walking. I kept looking at her and I kept looking at her. And my old lady, like me, I don't like. If I'm bringing attention upon myself, I'm doing it on purpose. I'm not sitting here making my son cry. I'm not a bad parent. I don't think I am. You know, I think I'm doing pretty good so far. He's only six months old. He's just now learning to sit up on his own. But, yeah, my old lady, my, my dad, and a lot of people were surprised that I didn't say nothing to her. I just kept staring at her. I kept watching. A lot of people, was, a lot of people were thinking I was going to enter. Oh, no well. But, I'm going to go on a little rant today.
kids nowadays. I want to do one more the other night. Doing a late night shopping. I just get some time to myself, you know. And uh, I mean, well, of course, I want more by myself. I'm sitting there. There's these teenagers. I mean, they're no more than 13, 14 years old. Walk around act like idiots. I mean, I, I do. I mean, my buddies walk around act like idiots too, but I'm sitting there, I'm walking, mind my own business, and this kid just kind of looking at me all weird and shit. I looked at him, so I said, Bro, look, wouldn't you like to know? Or, excuse me? Yes. I just started. So how old are you, kid? I ain't know your business. It's like, well, you obviously look fucking younger than we're supposed to be. It looks like past bedtime. And they say these kids didn't like what I said, you know? They're following around, kind of harassed me a little bit. Then I sit there and I thought, nah, it ain't worth it. It's not going away. My whole point, man, my whole point of the story is, one, there's one thing I run around past curfew, which me, the streets like, the street lights were on, I better be home. Or at least heading home. Kids yeah, nowadays have way too much freedom, I want to say. I mean, I mean, like I said in my past videos, I was raised in a prison. <laughs> but my mom did, I mean, grades weren't good, and your attitude wasn't good, and you weren't going outside at all. I respect that now. I mean, when I was little, I hated it. As I got older, the more I understand, the more I see it. You know? But I mean, another thing is, a lot of stuff occurs in Walmart, obviously. But another time I've been to Walmart and there's a woman. As a kid, I was about five years old. I remember when I was five. I would, if I got away from my mom, but I hope she didn't find me. <laughs> yeah, that, I, was, I was scared of that. I'm lost, you know. But, um, anyways, I don't remember a lot. People were scared of discipline their kids nowadays. I mean, me, yeah, I, I guess it's a generation thing. I was late 90s to 2000s. You know. It's a lot different, I guess. But, like, to me, there's a fine line between discipline and abuse. Meet the middle. You know. My mom, she busted my ass whenever she fucking got a hold of me. I ran, I was a runner. My stupid ass every time would stop, turn around, see a shoe or something, whatever she can get her hands on, throw at me, slip me down. My dad, on the other end, he's a big man. I was, I was always terrified of him. He's with me three times my entire life. Every time he's with me, he's got the, I got the message like that. I got the message before <laughs> he started, you know. I mean, I'm gonna raise my son privileges, you know, like he's. Like cell phones. I see kids that are seven, six or seven with cell phones. Not right. I mean, I didn't get my first cell phone until I was 14. Or no, I was 15. I didn't get my first cell phone. But people are scared to tear their kids' ass up nowadays. I mean, that's what takes me off. Like, I, yeah, I, I'll tell you a story. Uh, an example. It was before my son was born, all that way before that. My cousin, we were in Walmart in uh, Louisiana, and this little boy, he was about, he, to me, whipping a child, I mean, by, by the time they're one, they shouldn't know what a whipping is and all that, and he was about three. Walk three, kept running off, kept telling him, no, stay right here, no, don't run off. And, run off. Grab, he got him, popped him on my ass twice. Don't don't do it again. Put him in the basket. There was a woman followed him all the way, argued with him all the way through the parking lot. He told her, he goes, "You don't shut the hell up." 
I'm gonna tear your ass up, just like I did him. He can start from CPS and stuff. He didn't get the fame or anything. So. But I mean, if you don't raise kids nowadays with discipline, I mean, especially now, I see a lot of, especially the other night, kids are turning, a lot of kids are turning into punks. I know I'm a rookie parent now, but certain things I've learned as I was growing up watching myself, my friends, and everybody else get their asses to work. I mean, when I was younger, my mom would tell my best friend, tell him, she would tell his mom, he asked out, bust his ass. I knew not to. Fucking act out. <laughs> and like my little lady, her little cousin, he's uh her little, her cousin's son. He's three. Four. Something like that. Well he flipped he did this to her. No. He told me I was like, okay. Dude, about the one I see it I'll get on to get on to. Well he did. I told him to do that again. You ain't gonna like the outcome. He's like, so you ain't gonna do nothing. I scooped him off, scooped him up, bust his ass, put him in his room. They let him out for about an hour. Kids, parents, like people nowadays, I see people like my mom, for instance. Not bash her, God bless her soul. You know she passed away back a couple of years ago. But my when I kind of got out of the picture, I've been doing my dad and. Oh, it's just my mom and my sister for a little bit, but well, I was still around, you know, but my mom would ground my sister from her cell phone. She's like, you're grounded for two weeks or something. An hour later, hand took her phone back. No, my, no, my mom did me when I, to ground me. She took out my TV, my PlayStation, my toys, everything I enjoyed. Punishment is supposed to be like a fucking prison. You're not supposed to enjoy it. But anyways, I I kind of had that on my mind. I kind of want to go on a little rant, you know. Not to if I offend anybody, oh well, my opinion, don't kiss my ass. But or some people may agree with me. I don't know. But let's get down to Copenhagen pouches. To me, pouches don't mean anything at all. I mean. I think I said in a past video that I used to do it. I did try to quit, but I knew I wasn't going to quit. <laughs> so I. Uh, ah, this is not working. A lot of people do them. I mean, the people that don't do them, like this is Copenhagen Straight Can I did in my past video. They don't want to get all this in their teeth at all. You know? People want to keep their teeth clean. They don't want to get dirt in their fucking teeth or stuck in their lips. I honestly don't see the big point in it. I mean, if you're starting out, yeah, go ahead. I mean, I've seen a lot of guys want to start dipping. They, you, they do this. But, I mean, if you got a China, you're a little girl. That's all for you. Copenhagen pouches, grizzly pouches, skull pouches. I don't think the rest of has them yet. Give time for the rest of the long one, but yeah, they all come, they'll all come out with it. Hell, you never know, they may come out with shoe pouches. But, that is going to do me for you guys. As y'all know, on the last video, I made a Twitter. Follow me at Copen Kobo. I would love to have you guys followers. Check up on updates. See all the goofy stuff I post. Uh, put on a comment below. Y'all want me to make a Facebook page? Or, I don't know about Instagram. I don't really know how to use it. But y'all want me to do that? I'll go do that too. Just drop a comment. Uh, y'all got any questions? Y'all want to talk? Shoot the shit? Something? Comment down below. Y'all got any ideas of what y'all want me to do? Reviews on something? And I'll find it and I'll do a review on it. Give y'all my opinion. I may go on rants here and there depending on how the real world acts. <laughs> but 
I'm Kobo. Y'all be great. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video, alright? See y'all later. I'm out.